Okay, hi Virgo, welcome back to my channel. Guys, if you are new here, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you so much for supporting the channel. So we're going to go ahead and do a general message for my Virgos that are dealing with a water sign, a Cancer Pisces, or a Scorpio. Now it is a general message. You take the parts that resonate for you and leave the rest. Anybody interested in a personal reading, my information is always down below. Thank you to those who do reach out for those. And thank you to those who donate to the channel. It's very much appreciated. So let's jump into this and let's see what we have. For my Virgos that are dealing with a Cancer Pisces or a Scorpio. Thank you, Scorpio. What is the energy here? Show me. So let's get a card for the overall energy. So you have breaking free. So I don't know if you are separating from a water sign here. Maybe somebody here is just thinking about it. Bottom of the deck, though, we have hope and healing and communication. So even if you are in separation from this person, they may want to reach out to you here. They may have hope about healing this situation, but it's going to take communication. What's behind communication? Gentleness. Yeah. Okay. So give me a kipper card. Oh, as a part of the deck, for some of you, this may be someone here that you were married to or maybe in a long relationship with, maybe 10 years or more. Oh, I'm hearing that song, What You Won't Do, Do For Love. Maybe this person would do anything for love. One more shuffle. All right, give me one card. Now, I am seeing the number five. So for some of you, this may have been a situation where there was a lot of arguments or competition or jealousy or envy or just competing here, right? We have wealthy man coming out here. And that boils down to a number. It's a 13, so it boils down to a number four. So again, you know, eh, I don't know. Do I want to say that someone here may have been with someone for stability? Or again, the four could just be representing like the four of wands, um, which we already saw the marriage card. Bottom of the deck, we have high honor. Yeah, look at that. As I part the deck again, we have wedding. So for some of you, it looks like you, I don't know if this is an energy of maybe divorce. What do we have for my Virgos that are dealing with a Cancer Pisces or a Scorpio? Thank you, Spirit. Oh, for some of you, this water sign misses being intimate with you. <laughs> Give me a card. Thank you, Spirit. My Virgos dealing with a Cancer Pisces or a Scorpio. What's the energy here? Show me. Thank you. So flying out all in the reverse, but I don't take these in the reverse. You have release your ex. It says the time has come to clear your energy. Now it could have come out in the reverse. Like I said, there may be a water sign here that doesn't want to let go of you, that doesn't want this situation to end, right? They want to give this relationship another chance. Whoever this is, family member, friend, co-worker, you know, someone here, it feels like they want forgiveness. It's almost like that energy of don't give up on this. But it's almost like I'm hearing what went wrong. But I'm on the deck, you have separation. It says time. It says time apart from your partner is on the horizon. So for some of you, maybe this is to come. For some of you, there's an energy here of I don't know how or why friends would have um, something to do with this situation, but I am picking that up. Now I'm hearing that, oh, for some of you, this may be a same-sex relationship. I can't remember their names, but um, I know I may be even thinking of the wrong people. I'm not sure. But I'm hearing, would I lie to you, baby? Would I lie to you? And then I'm hearing, oh, yeah. <laughs> so I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah, look at that. The Hierophant, strong um, marriage energy here. Or commitment, right? Like I said, it could just be somebody you was with for a long time. The three of wands. Somebody here is seeing the bigger picture of a situation. 
Now, somebody also could be waiting for something to leave this situation and somebody knows that, right? What is this? Virgo is dealing with a Cancer Pisces or a Scorpio. Thank you, Spirit. So we have the Ace of Pentacles. Ooh. Okay. Now the Ace of Pentacles talks about newness. It talks about planting seeds. It talks about working on something here that's going to be very lucrative, right? Again, for some of you, the Ace of Pentacles could be saying to me that you put a lot of time, effort, and energy into this situation. You've been with somebody a long time. You know, the situation has roots. You have history with this person. Three of Pentacles, though, again, like I said, for some of you, if this is a business deal, actually, I don't think I said it in this one. It came out in your pre-shuffle. Um, that this may, for some of you, just be somebody that you are working with or worked with. And maybe now you want to work with somebody else, right? So it was kind of the energy of maybe replacing someone. Three of Pentacles. With the Ace of Pentacles. Show me more. King of Cups. Now, this could represent a brand new beginning, right? Maybe somebody looks at somebody in high honor and they kind of want to put the effort into a new situation. Somebody, again, you know, through a pentacle, talks about collabing. It talks about building something. But maybe someone hasn't expressed this with this King of Cups. What fell on the table? We're going to put them back. Five of Pentacles on the Sun card. Now, it could also be, you know... Um, Mm, I don't know if someone has lost some finances here, but let's see. There goes the name of a water sign. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. The High Priestess. Someone's very intuitive here. It could be a masculine energy with the King of Cups out here. But it feels like someone receives a lot of messages. Someone here feels very enlightened. Maybe someone spends a lot of time by the water as well. But I'm hearing, you know, it could be that they find it peaceful there. Someone here may be dealing with a Pisces. What is this Ace of Pentacles? The Four of Cups, though. I don't know if somebody feels like they missed an opportunity. Or again, you know, someone here may just have some regrets or there's some kind of disappointment around a situation here. And like I said, it could be to do with finances. What is this Ace of Pentacles and the Four of Cups? Do you know what? That's really weird because you have the Ace of Wands coming out here. And the first, I heard uh, these songs and I don't know everybody. Um, I heard, um, I don't want to run away, but I can't take it. Something I don't understand. But why does my heart tell me that I am? I don't know what song that is. I feel like somebody's in their feelings though, because they want maybe they want to move to karma waters here. Or like I said, someone here may have moved away. Someone here is having some regrets. What is this three of pentacles? What is that trying to fall out? Maybe a fire sign has something to do with this. Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Maybe a, a fire sign caused some kind of confusion. Or maybe it's a fire sign that has the options, right? Six of Pentacles. What is this three of Pentacles with this wealthy man energy? Virgo's dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. Yeah, there's a Ten of Swords. Someone here is leaving uh, some kind of a business deal or some kind of a... I don't know, they're leaving something here. I'm hearing the word group. Ten of Swords talks about the ultimate betrayal here in a third party situation. What is the Ten of Swords with the Three of Pentacles? Okay, I'm also hearing something here about, because I'm hearing this song, um, let's talk about sex, baby. Let's talk about you and me. Let's talk about all the good things and the bad things that may be i don't know if someone did something here sexually for money and they're kind of regretting that the three of pentacles and the ten of swords thank you spirit you have the star card 
Somebody's definitely hoping and praying here. Four wands at the bottom of the deck with the Ace of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. It's almost like somebody saying to someone, hey, do you know what? Let's work on this for the family here, right? Ace of Cups talks about love. Queen of Pentacles could be somebody's wife. Ten of Pentacles could be family here. Four of Wands, marriage, stability, security. But it's almost like somebody's holding back. Someone here is battling in their head about this situation here, Virgos. And I'm not sure if it's you. What is this King of Cups? Because some is, yeah, some has definitely put somebody in their feelings here. That landed straight on top of that Ten of Swords. Um, there was a tower moment here. Now, usually the tower will come in because something isn't built on a solid foundation. So why is the tower here, Spirit? Five of Wands at the bottom of the deck. King of Cups and the tower. Scorpio energy here. Heavy Scorpio then. And look at that. Came out in the reverse. Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. I really feel like this is a family situation or I feel like this is about um, finances, but it would be a large amount of money. But yeah, exactly. What did I say? The tower comes in when something isn't built on a solid foundation. It says that Ten of Pentacles in the reverse talks about instability. This may even be, um, like I said, something about an inheritance. This is this is the energy of, you know, um, if anybody had any skeletons in their closet kind of energy. But it takes somebody by surprise, number one, and then it kind of puts somebody in their feelings. Even though somebody maybe on the surface here is kind of maybe acting like everything's okay. What is this high priestess? Page of Pentacles. Someone should have listened to their intuition. Someone here should have paid attention to that gut feeling here. Someone here should have made a better choice. Or someone here is listening or needs to listen to their intuition now about making practical decisions going forward here. Nine of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Maybe someone here is just choosing to be single for a while. High Priestess and the Page of Pentacles. The Chariot. Someone here is being divinely guided. To go somewhere. Show me going forward. Thank you, Spirit. The judgment, yeah, setting yourself free here. It's also about making final decisions. Show me more. The magician. One more. And then the sun card. This feels like the energy here with the judgment, the magician and the sun. They are all major arcanas. This is somebody going forward. You're going to manifest some happiness for yourself here. Or you have manifested happiness for yourself by walking away from a situation. By freeing yourself, by listening to your intuition. By making the right choice here. Bottom of the deck, we have the Two of Cups. Wow, the Ten of Cups. For someone here, if you can, you know, especially if this is a very kind of, um, I want to say volatile situation or negative situation, try and hold back from arguing with anybody here. It's almost like someone may go out of their way because they want to hold on to you. Five of Wands. So let's see what Mother Mary has to say about this situation for my Virgos that are dealing with a Cancer Pisces or a Scorpio. Thank you, Mother Mary. What do we have? Ooh, ooh, ooh. What's trying to get out? What's trying to get out there? Mother. Some of you could be dealing with the mother of your child. Some of you, this may even be your mother, right? For some of you, I keep looking at that high honor. Um, for, for number one, I feel like some of you have a higher purpose here, right? The high honor. 
you have a, a, a divine purpose. For some of you, I feel like maybe whoever this is, maybe you looked at this person in high honor at one point. Yeah, this may, yeah, love. So, give me one card, Mother Mary. What do we have for my Virgos that are dealing with a Cancer Pisces or a Scorpio? What are we getting stuck on? Health. For some of you, I don't know if this is affecting your health here. Or, you know, this decision that you make is going to benefit your health. I'm definitely here in your mental space. Physical as well. So I don't know why they're saying physical. Thank you, Spirit. Well, my deck, you have enthusiasm. It says, whatever I am most passionate about is the direction that I follow. And then the card that came out is grace. And it says, I am filled with the same beauty, pose and divine perfection as all of God's other creations. So again, you know, that energy of maybe this was affecting someone's self-esteem, right? Maybe there was some things that was said. Maybe someone here tried to belittle somebody here. Um, whatever it is, right? Spirit's saying here that, you know what? Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. And I'm also hearing the creator. So don't let anybody ever get you down. I don't care who I'm speaking to. So that is what I have for you, Virgos or Crosswatcher. This is where we part. I ask that you do hit the thumbs up if anything resonated with you in this reading. Um, but if this is where we part, stay safe. Love and light, guys.